Hello, it's yours truly, back with a new video. If you've never been here before, hello, I'm Carrie Rad. I make beauty, style, and travel videos. Today's video is going to be a beauty haul. I've got lots of goodies inside this Sephora bag right now, although not everything in here is from Sephora, but a majority of it is. I'm not doing a favorites video this month because I didn't really have any favorites to share. It was more so new products that I've been trying out and just some stuff that I bought that I wanted to share with you guys. So I guess it kind of is a favorites video because it is stuff that I've been loving over the last month, but it's like a haul slash favorites video. I don't know, roll with me here, guys. Let's start with something exciting. How about foundation? This is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. As most of you guys know, I am a true believer in the Too Faced Four in This Way foundation. I've been using it for a very, very, very long time. I recently tried out the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, really loved that as well, and was going to go back to the food to Foo Face, to the Too Faced Four in This Way foundation, but stopped myself because of this reason. I really like the foundation. It's usually great for me, but lately I've been really dry. I feel so much better now that I recently got a facial, but it's still a bit dry. So when I went into Sephora, I was asking them about this foundation because I used to use this and I remember really liking it but I knew that I liked the Too Faced Born This Way a little bit more, and I think it was because for a long time, because I had been using like an oil cleanser and an oil moisturizer, the Too Faced Born This Way was really nice for my skin because it is a drier foundation. This foundation is really hydrating. So right now with my dry skin, this has been really, really helpful for me. It's what I have on right now. I've been applying it with the Beauty Blender, which is new to me as well, which I'll just get into that here. I've been using it, so it's not like new. It's kind of still in the package, but I just like stuffed it in here. This is actually how I've been keeping it on my vanity, like in the packaging like this, because I don't want to like put it in my makeup bag because I just feel like that's not sanitary at all. So I usually just kind of have it like that. So these two together I have been absolutely loving over the last week. I usually use a makeup brush for my foundation, but I'm moving towards the Beauty Blender. And I know that so many people use the Beauty Blender and absolutely love it. I just never jumped on the bandwagon. I was kind of like, I loved the makeup brush. It made me feel like an artist and it just seemed like the best way to apply my makeup. But I really love this, especially if you are dry, because with the Beauty Blender, you're putting this under water and then squeezing it out. So it just feels like all this hydration going to your face before you apply your foundation. It's just like the mixture of water and the foundation going on your face just feels so good, especially in the spring and summer in LA. It's just like, mm, it's good. Since we're talking about a more hydrating foundation, I wanted to talk to you guys about this primer. This was actually sent to me by Smashbox and I just recently grabbed for it because I wanted a primer that wasn't oil-based because that Makeup Forever foundation is moisturizing enough that I didn't need to have oil under it. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer. I've been using it for like the last week with this Makeup Forever foundation and I really love the combo of these two. This is oil-free so it's not going to make me feel greasy. It just hydrates my skin. It's creamier so it just feels like you're putting a really thin cream to your face that's hydrating it really nicely. So I'm really liking this. It's what I'm wearing today and it's the end of the day right now. I think it's like around 5 p.m. and my foundation has been keeping on my face like all day. I just went and looked in the mirror to just kind of touch up before I shot this video and I was like, oh, my foundation like actually is still on my face. If you have dry skin, but you don't like the feeling of being greasy or oily, then you should definitely try this guy out. It's a really good combination of hydrating your skin, but not making your skin feel like it's greasy or oily. Because I've been dealing with dry skin and the need to exfoliate recently, I was in Gelson's actually, grocery shopping, and I saw these little Wonder Puff things. They're pretty cute, I love the color of them. They're like a peachy blush color, but they're this exfoliating puffs. You kinda have to be really careful with them, because they are really rough and super intense. I've been using one of these for the past like couple of weeks and I definitely see a difference on my nose and like on my chin and those are my problem areas right now when it comes to pores, being enlarged and just like feeling dry. So I've been putting a cleansing oil on one of these little puffs and I've just kind of really, 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 I cannot even stress how gently I've been doing it because these are so 
rough. They honestly feel like those sponges that you use to do the dishes, which like they could possibly be. No, they're not. I got them in the beauty section. Yeah, it says deep cleansing puff. So yeah, <laughs> they're definitely for your skin. Once you go to do your makeup application, you can definitely feel a difference. I just can't stress like how gently you have to do this though, because these are so rough. Like when I first pulled them out of the bag, I was like, I don't know about this, but I just like did it really gently and it's definitely making a difference. I don't use these every day. I've probably used them about four times within the last couple of weeks and I definitely see a difference and I really like them. I also have been using them like on my arm and on my legs and stuff because I just feel so dry everywhere right now. It's the time of the year for that, but yeah, it's just been so windy in LA. The weather has been so hot and so I just feel like a raisin. And another product to help with dry skin. I'm telling you guys, my skin has been super dehydrated, but this one specifically is for your lips, which I have been loving this so much. This is the Sugar Lip Polish. It smells and tastes like brown sugar. It's amazing. I've already been using it. I don't know why I put these back in the box. I wanted you guys to like feel the unboxing vibe going on here. Um, so I like bought them the other day and then put them back in the box for this video. So <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I just felt like it was what I should do. Mm, it smells so good. You really probably shouldn't eat this, but I want to every single time I put it on my lips. It's just so nice and it really does make a difference. I was always pretty skeptical about lip polishes and like lip exfoliants because I was like, does that really work? Do you really need that? Can't you just really use anything? And yeah, you probably can. You could probably use a towel or I couldn't even use one of those Wonder Puffs just really lightly on my lips. But when you're using something like this that has so much moisture in it too, like almost like an oil, it leaves like this really nice oily but like not overly oily residue when you're finished and it just smells so good and it's just a good experience to do in the morning or in the evening before you go to sleep. I am just really really loving this. It's just becoming part of my routine before I go to bed mostly at night after I wash my face and just like do all my skincare stuff. I just make sure that I use some of this on my lips because when I wake up in the morning and I made sure that I put like a lip balm on before I went to bed. My lips just feel so good and it just feels so much nicer to apply a lipstick when you don't have like dead skin on your lips because that is the worst. I am beyond excited to tell you guys about this guy. I'm pretty sure I found my lipstick soulmate. If you watch my Instagram live streams, you probably already know about this guy. But if you don't, what are you doing? Why are you not joining in on my Instagram live streams? Anyways, shameless promo there, real quick. But this is a Bite lipstick. This is the first time I've ever tried Bite. Um, I got this at Sephora. I just wanted something that was like a brown color, sort of reddish, but like mostly on the brown side. And that was moisturizing. Um, and so I gravitated towards this. I tried it on in Sephora and just knew instantly. This is in Molasses and it's what I have on my lips right now, but it's probably come off a bit during this video. So I'll apply a little bit more so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. I can't really see myself in the viewfinder because I'm not wearing my contacts. So hopefully I put it on okay. It's probably all over my face knowing me. Oops, I just really kind of messed up the top of it. <sighs> Um, but yeah, so I am absolutely loving this. It smells good. It's moisturizing. It is such a beautiful color, I think. Um, and I think that it's a color that you can wear like year round. I, did I, did I hurt this guy? A little bit. Oh no. Chipped like the very top of it. That's what happens when you're shooting a video and trying to like do two things at once. Gonna be okay guys. He's gonna make it through. It is just really such a great color. Product. It's so nice to be able to put on a lipstick and know that your lips are going to be moisturized when you put on the lipstick. So if my lips are feeling dry, I will grab this guy, which I never normally do with lipsticks. And the fact that I can do it with this guy is incredible. So Bite, I'm into it. I'm into you. I love this. This is like my, this is my lipstick soulmate. I love, I love you. Since we're talking about lips, we've got this Pillow Plump from Soap and Glory. Again, Instagram live stream peeps, you might remember this guy from a live stream, but this stuff smells so good. 
oh, it's cake um and it is just so good it's a little bit sparkly it has barely any color to it it's like very sheer very very light pink but pretty much clear it gives you this really nice numbing sensation on your lips and it does like plump up your lips a little bit but not super dramatically but I just love the sensation that I get on my lips from this hanging out with Alex and I was wearing this and all of a sudden he turned to me and was like my lips are like numb they're like tingling and I was like so confused by what was happening to his lips this might scare somebody if you kiss them and you're wearing it so maybe like let them know prior to or just wait and watch them freak out about it. It was pretty funny to see. Now he knows like whenever his lips start feeling that he's like, are you wearing that stuff? I really, really love the tingly lip feeling. I might be weird, but I really enjoy it. Right, lastly, we have two more products left. Well, kind of three, but two of them here are the same sort of product. So I'll go into these. These are the Casey Holmes Smashbox Highlight collaboration situation. I got this from Smashbox sent to me in this really big beautiful gold box and it had glitter everywhere. It was gorgeous. And yeah, so this was Casey Holmes collaboration with Smashbox and I really love the colors. Super 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 bronzy and this one is really like beautiful highlight colors. These ones are more like of a peachy lighter color. I think that these would look really great on like a lighter skin tone. And then these would look really great on like a more bronzy. I'm like holding these so weird because I don't want to blind you guys. But um, these are all so gorgeous. The colors are stunning. And I think that these would look really nice on all skin tones, warmer tones, but also really love these for like down my nose and like right at the top of my cheeks and stuff. And then I use these ones like down a little bit lower on my cheek, almost like a bronzer. I don't know if that's exactly how you're supposed to use these, but I just kind of like playing around with these all over my face really, because different colors look good in different areas of my face. So I'm really liking these. I say like, hey, great job PC Homes. You did a really good job creating these because they are very golden and gorgeous and you just look super glowy when you use these on your face. So I'm, yeah, really liking those. And lastly, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I probably should have talked about this when I talked about the foundation earlier, but talking about it now, this is the concealer that goes along with the foundation. I really believe in using a concealer that is by the same brand as your foundation if there's a good concealer in that line because I feel like if you're using the same ingredients they're going to blend better together that's just something that I think and I could be totally wrong and I totally use concealers that are different brands than my foundation all the time but I notice when I use the same brands within the same line when it comes to foundation and concealer they just like work better together. This is the Invisible Cover Concealer and I've just been applying this to my face with the Beauty Blender as well. I haven't really been using concealer over the last like four to five months because my face has been pretty clear, but I realized that I really wanted to brighten up under my eyes. I think I was scarred from a lot of different concealers always creasing on me and so I think I was just like, I don't need concealer right now, so I don't even want to even mess around with it. So I really haven't been wearing a ton of concealer recently. But this guy is not creasing on me. It's hydrating. It works really well with that foundation. They just like work well together and I just am really liking using those two together. All right, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys liked it. I'm drinking a dirty chai right now and it is five o'clock. So I'm going to be up for a very long time, but that's actually okay because I really want to just like bang out this video and start editing it right away. So yeah, I'm gonna go guys. I hope that everyone is doing well and I will see you super soon in a new video. Make sure that you guys are subscribed if you have not already, that's super important. And also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I think that that's all. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Oh, that was weird. That was like a, that was a wave with a peace sign. I couldn't decide which way I was gonna go with it. Thank you.